Alright, fixing to ease on back out in, in the woods for afternoon hunt. See, I got camp set up. Um, I'm going to go back in here and make this, make a small loop out here where I ended up jumping up that big her herd of hogs. You know, get in there on those pines. The pine trees is at like the top of the hill. And I, I'm just going to walk straight in down that hill and turn around and come back. I got some other spots I want to go check while I'm out here too, so... just realized I've got to change the batteries out on my my mic but um the bad thing is is that my bag I took my bag off when I got to the head of this swamp right here set it down on the ground I was gonna make a big loot and come back to the bag and that's where my batteries is at So hopefully I'll be able to fix this audio. It's probably gonna sound like crap. Anyways, you can see I'm just walking through like um, some flooded timber. There's a big cypress swamp to my left. And it kinda Peter's out to where I'm at here. I'm just making a big loop out here. I'm seeing some fresh hog sign and a lot of old hog sign. Hot, I got my mic plugged back in and working. Um, this spot I'm sitting in, honestly, I done did so many loops out here in these little places. There's a, uh, this road. It comes to me and then turns and goes back to my right. And there's a lot of hog tracks walking up and down and crossing that road. This is actually the same road that all of them that I ended up spooking this morning run across the road. So I just... My legs are starting to hurt a little bit, so I decided to uh, just set up right here where I can see this road. If something crosses the road, you know, I can get up and my wind's blowing to my left. <sighs> I said I could probably see 300 yards down that road and about 50 yards this way.
like I'm running through there. He ran up right here. Got on top of that little hill. <laughs> Got him about the heat and then laid down. I hope he can get with some more pigs. Good thing is, is he knows how to eat. I mean, this it, it, that thing there is young. It's still got the stripes on it. Stuff like that right there is why I enjoy coming out here so much. And then out of all the opportunities this morning, I enjoy just seeing these animals do do their thing in the wild. I just had a a real big spot of one. It was white and black. It crossed the road down there, probably. Shit, it was a long ways away. About 250 yards. Only got about 50 minutes left of good daylight. I'd hate to get up and walk all the way down there and run out of time. Was a different one. I I got up, and tried to cut that that big one off that I seen cross the road. And as I was walking in out here on the other side of that water, that that black big black hawk there came from my left. Right, we made it back up to camp. I had walking out of there. I had some fellas. The boat sitting right over here. Uh, they run out of gas. So they're supposed to be going up to the gates way, way back up there. It's going to be a while before they make it back out here. Um, but if they can't get the gas, I guess I'm going to give them a ride back up to the boat ramp. So, hey, we got close again this, this afternoon. I'm going to get back out there to, in the morning do a good hunt in the morning and then uh hopefully we can get something in but you know, like i said for now i got the more likely i'm gonna have to get ready to get these fellas a ride up to the boat ramp but we're gonna cut this thing off and start getting me something cooked up to eat and we'll get you cut back on in the morning so 
morning time folks we uh waiting on it to just get a little bit more daylight so i can actually see what i'm walking up on out there in the woods um i think i'm gonna go back down in there and hang out where i was at yesterday afternoon as soon as i finish my coffee i'm gonna grab my stuff and we're gonna ease on but um that spot i was in yesterday afternoon was real pretty down in there where i went in there and run in you know when i seen that big white and black spot i would run across the road from what i've seen yesterday it'll probably be 8 30 9 o'clock before they get up and move because they were feeding around 10 11 o'clock yesterday so but i ain't gonna sit here too much longer i'm almost done with my coffee and we're gonna ease on <clears throat> i don't want to waste too much time but those fellas come in last night, it was pretty late by the time they walked to the end of the road and got their gas and got back out here. And we sat and talked for a little while. They out here doing some turkey hunting themselves, see. So. Alright, well, I said I'm going to finish my coffee up and we're going to ease on out there. Just like the waters right there. There's a piece of land on the right and a piece of land on the left. And it kind of points out right here. Just like, so everything that's going this way is going to have to come right here. But yesterday afternoon, there was three hogs. That big black one that I seen yesterday came from that piece of land on the left. And he run down the water's edge and come right through where I'm at and went back this way. I was on the other side over there walking this way. That big black and white one come across the road into this point right here. There's a big pine tree on the side of the road where that, that hog come in at. And that's how I know where. You know, and that's the landmark I used when that pig come across. I done made it back up. I'm on top of the hill up here. What you can see is more pines up here on top of the hill. My best understanding, this is the highest point out here. I come up here so I can just sit and relax and uh, Be in the highest point, maybe I can hear. Hear some off in the distance fighting or squealing or whatever. All right, folks. You see, I made it back up to camp. Fixing to get packed up, throw everything in the boat there, and get on out of here. You know, I got a few things I need to get taken care of today. Um, we had a very productive weekend. Seen a bunch of hogs yesterday. Didn't see too much this morning, but that's fine, you know. And you can't you can't get out here and shoot something every time you go to the woods. It'd be nice, but that ain't the way it works. But anyhow, I said I'm fixing to get packed up and get on out of here. Hey, we appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned, we'll catch you on the next video.